Hey YouTube, it's Wolf Pilot checking in with you. We're out here at wonderful Fox 69, just north of Addison Airport, KADS. Today I'm with Uncle Steve and neighbor Paul. And we're working on 44 Tango, trying to diagnose an oil leak. Uh, I want to take an opportunity to thank all the people that have been subscribing to my channel. I know my content has kind of slowed down here in the last few weeks because I haven't been doing a lot of flying. My opportunities are kind of few and far between. However, I do want to recognize a couple of new subscribers. And sorry if I missed you or mispronounced your name because some people's YouTube names are more cosmetic than their actual reality. So first person I want to thank, Russ Can Fly. Russ, I know you're finishing up flight school. Thank you for subscribing. Your video content is wonderful. Thank you for subscribing to mine. Uh, you're, you're an inspiration to many people. So Russ can fly. Uh, let's see, Steve, uh, let's see, K-R-C Merrick. Yeah, let's see, uh, thank you, Cat Flight, uh, yeah, Cat Flights, Dean Saracusa, so we got two Green Lid, Kyle Brooks and Ricardo Guerrera. Thank you so much for subscribing. It really means a lot to me. And uh, let's continue to work on the airplane. Okay. Clear the prop. Clear prop! There we go. Fuel check. Oil temp, oil no, pressure. Key caps. Oh, say what? Oil caps, three and four. Slow. Oh, fuel on. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, both on to both. So in today's technical episode of working on 44 Tango, Uncle Steve and I are attempting to diagnose an oil leak. And Paul. And Paul. You forget it. So. Oh, right. Hey Paul, say hi to all our wonderful YouTube viewers. Hello, so, YouTube world. So uh, what we've got here is a leak finder leak detection kit the leak detector die you put basically one one ounce of this stuff into the oil and then you run the engine and then you use a black light a black light to attempt to find leaks so we have a fluorescent big fluorescent black light and this flashlight here from harbor freight which is a black light and if we if there's an oil leak what we can see is uh, it should fluoresce yellow and we already uh, took the oil filler cap off you're gonna kill me what? oil filler cap off and look shine the light down there so we know we know it fluoresces the interesting thing we're finding is that other stuff fluoresces in here too <laughs> wires uh, 
different ma uh, mating surfaces where the paint stops and you the go gaskets. to metal. The gaskets fluoresce a little bit, but they fluoresce kind of a green, not the bright yellow that should look kind of like the yellow in this wire if that shows paint. up here. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it peeled that paint on everything, see? See where it got on this right here? You just peeled that paint right back on it that carburetor cleaner did, see? That's not carburetor cleaner. Oh wait, look here, under here. Can you see all those, yeah, this, all this GoPro's getting that real good. See those two, okay, two so, drops uh, hanging yeah, out there. Yeah, so all those drops are coming from the mag. All those drops are coming, see that's an old trail. All those drops are coming from right there. Coming from right there. Yeah. Okay, and then that comes down and that's what soaks the carburetor. Now, why the carburetor gaskets are glowing, I, I have no idea. Just could, it just could be the material they're made of. I mean, certain materials fluoresce under ultraviolet light. I mean, it's just nature of the beast. Okay, these gaskets look good, sound. Let's go over here. This gasket looks good. Now let's look up under under the. the uh, look at the. Uh, what am I trying to say? Where the pan connects on to the to the block. Without gra grabbing the carburetor exhaust. Look up here. What's this? Oh, it's all that color, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird why that is fluorescing, but it, I mean, it's dry. It's, it's dry fluorescing. So what, you know, I don't know if that's... That's just the, and remember, the, the that's the case itself. So the case was painted with a different paint. Yeah, so that paint could have whatever in there that... that... So we're not getting leaking here. And here's another big leaking place that normally happens is, see the, look at, look how the, uh, the covers fluoresce. Well, <laughs> the cylinder covers. It leaks where the cylinder covers uh, attach and it leaks where the push rod tubes are under the under the uh, cylinder head covers. Okay, so that's not leaking there. Let's go look at the other side. No, it's, it's fluorescing, but it isn't white. It didn't wet. Let's go look at this side. Let's look up under here. Oh, it's the same way. It's it's dry though, but it's the same fluorescing. And then under here, look at the wire ties. We know they're not <laughs> leaking. See, here's some, there's some leak right there. See it? What? Look, look. look. Uh, no, it's dry. Well, well, it's a little bit wet. It is a little bit, well, a little bit wet right there, yeah. But where the hell is that coming from? Well, here's where it's coming from, right here. You can see it. Look, it's um. See that push rod tube back there? Yes. It's coming from that push rod tube. Hmm. It's not a big leak. No, this stuff is very fine. I mean, by the time it gets down off the muffler, it's pretty much gone, burns off or... And you smell it, yeah. But it's that push rod tube. So there's a big problem with these push rod tubes. They leak a lot. There's one too, but it's old stuff. 
So when you rebuilt this engine... See, I, see what I did is I took a uh, tank sealer and I took tank sealer and I, and I sealed the back of where the pushrod tube goes in. Uh-huh. See how I sealed that? Yeah. So I did that when it was all apart. Is it just... Now, do, don't they make a, a, neoprene, a neoprene or some kind of replacement gasket kit for these pushrod tubes? It's... $125 per tube. <laughs> oh, it's aviation That's energy. 12 tubes. Oh my God, just say no, stop the madness. Stop that's the madness. right, so that's why I never did do that. <laughs> the, the, the bigger engines like Paul has, they have that, that, that's the way they do it. These things are spring loaded into, there's a gasket in here, and then a gasket where it goes into the engine. And, and uh, they're like a, see that's all dry, but it's fluorescing. Yeah. Okay. And here is more. Once you get it on your hands, you can you never can get it off. But this is not le this is leaking little, but it's for another test. Well, let's look at the other mag now. So is that is that Magneto two? Yeah, this is a right right mag. Right mag, yeah. okay. From the from the pilot's perspective, right mag, left mag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a little seepage there, but there's no drip from this one. Does that come off? Yeah, that wiped off. And it might have been from somebody just running their goobers through it, but Let's see if I got a I've been, my pants are going in the wash, so it doesn't matter. I don't have a clean hand, really. I'm going under it now. It's not fluorescing really big. Here, let's see what happens when I put my hand in the real wet oil. Oh, that wet? That, that, that just punches you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> That's bright green. Okay, so now I'm looking at, see I'm looking at the generator shaft in there. Do you see some oil in there? I see some, a little bit. All right, just to show you guys, do a quick little thing here. I'm gonna pop off the filler cap. And you can look down in there and you can see the inside, it's glowing bright yellow. I mean, it looks it looks like looks like cheese whiz down there. It's going so bright. So that's that is what. Which interesting enough, if you look down in, in there, it's yellow. But down down here, where you can see that those drops down there are actually fluorescing green. Oh boy! There, now there's a big oil leak right there. There's the big oil leak. See it? See it's coming down from the bottom of that mag around the generator mm -hmm. down onto the where the remote oil filter mm -hmm. goes into the pan or the auxiliary case in that in that case the auxiliary case becomes part of the pan because there's wet oil in there and then it uh, drips down all the way to the carburetor you can see the drops on top of the carburetor yep and then it goes let me see if i can get this light in here yeah all see right down to the air box and even a couple on the uh, strut. So if nothing else, and then look on the back of this this baffling here. Here, hold the black like I'm curious to see what it's going to look like when I pull out the dipstick. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's eight quarts of oil showing. She's green. See, that's another oil leak source that you can get and not know it. Is you pull this dipstick out and you shove it in and it just, it, it wipes the oil off and then lets it run down the side of the engine. Mm -hmm. And you think, oh, I got a leak. Nope, but you just scraped your and dipstick. There's a, there, and there's an O-ring right there for the dipstick. Yep. Okay. Well, I think we got pictures. I think we know if we fix this leak, then we can check it again, clean it up, check it again.
Okay. Yeah. I uh, do a little bit of footage here of what this thing looks like under regular normal lighting. And what we've determined, if you can see here on the left mag, there's a gasket. Get in there. And that gasket is actually underneath of that hold down block, which I hear that kind of thing. It looks like a Tetris block. You can see, and you can even see how that hold down block is cocked at an angle. So what it's doing is it has, has reduced pressing power against the mating surface on the magneto. So that needs to be, that thing needs, that mag needs to be loosened and that gasket needs to be shifted out of the way so it's not interfering with that hold down block. That is where you can go down here and get a shot of this in daylight. All that oil, just from the brief five minutes we're running, that's that's at least, well, that's really a half a teaspoon of oil that that leaked out. And there's and that, and that's not at full power. Yeah, well, we did. Oh, we we're at 1800. Yeah, that's not full power. Full power would be what, 2600, 2400? I don't know, full climb power. So. Full power would be 3,000 RPM, 2,600 inches manifold pressure. Okay. So uh, we definitely, the leak has been identified, and that is, as Dan Greider would put it, the probable cause. <laughs> by the way, by the way, yes, shameless plug for Dan Greider. Check out his channel, Dan Greider, Probable Cause. He loves to go out and investigate these. Uh, aviation incidents and accidents uh he, he has a great dissertation he's got tons of experience between dan Greider and juan brown of the blanco lirio channel also should be subscribed to blanco lirio uh he's got a lot of experience and expertise in these things and he can really dissect these crashes because you know for a fact that the ntsb they ain't doing it Let's do a startup sequence on uncle bob sawyer Thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like instant email notifications of channel updates, please find the link in the description below.